Hey everyone, thank you for uh, being back again. My name is Nikolai Ray. I'm the CEO of the Emrex. This week I wanted to take a couple minutes to talk about stress management with regards to real estate investors and real estate company operators. So, as you know, my, my theory and my vision is that as a real estate investor, you want to be the CEO of your investment company. And this brings on a lot of stress, right? As you are the head of a company, whether it be in real estate, in technology, or in any other field, stress is something that you can't run away from. And the idea is that you have two choices. Stress can be your enemy or stress can be your friend. But ultimately, stress will always be present in what you want to do. Especially if, I mean, you want to get rich through real estate investing and multifamily real estate and through business, you have to be willing to deal with stuff that most people are not willing to deal with. Therefore, if you want to be in the top 1% or the top 5 or 10%, you have to deal with top 1% and 5%, 10% problems and deal with stuff that you know the masses are not really uh, willing to deal with. And that's why at the end of the day, you end up being a successful real estate investor rather than just being someone who owns one or two properties or doesn't own any property at all. So dealing with stress starts ultimately with the way that you perceive situations. So if you perceive situations with a pessimistic attitude and you're always negative and you see everything as a problem that you have to deal with or, you know, often we hear uh, investors talking about tenants. Oh, I have to deal with this, this tenant. Oh, it's such a, it's such a grind and it's so hard. I mean, what that shows me is that you're, the way that you perceive things is, is really not in line with your objectives and with your goals as a real estate investor. And therefore, you're going to have to work on that perception. So the way that you're going to do that is you actually have to take a step back. You have to be extremely conscious about how you are talking and the way that you are viewing things that are happening to you or things that you're doing. And by doing that, by, by taking a step back, kind of like what we talked about in strategic planning last week, you'll be able to see how you are perceiving situations. Are you seeing situations as a problem or are you seeing situations as an opportunity to grow, as an opportunity to perform and to prove to yourself, to prove to your tenants, to prove to your investors that you are the right person for the job. And the minute that you're going to have this mindset, you will see that stress is not going to be your enemy anymore. Stress is truly going to become your friend and you'll actually be able to harness the power of stressful situations to perform even better when the time is important and when time has come to be at the maximum performance levels as an investor and as an entrepreneur. The second thing with regards to stress is despite having a positive perception and outlook and a mindset, you also need to have various tools and habits that will be there to allow you to regenerate, to re-energize, and to make sure that you're in optimal energy levels and mindset levels to be able to manage stressful situations. So the number one thing that comes to mind and that I use personally is meditation. Now, I know that meditation is not for everyone. I know that not everyone listening to this or watching this is going to be ready to take 10, 15, 30 minutes a day to just sit in silence and meditate. I know it's something that's difficult. It's a skill that must be learned. But meditation can, can be in many forms. I mean, meditation could be just simply getting up early in the morning, taking a half, half hour and just going to walk around, uh, walk around the block, walk around the city that you live in, uh, bring in some air, listen to some podcasts. It might actually mean simply just going to a coffee shop, bringing a good book and taking some time to sit back step back from the situations, re-energize and, and bring your energy levels and your mindset levels back up to optimal performance. And I mean, if Olympic athletes and professional athletes take time to recharge and regenerate, I mean, they don't train every day, they don't compete every day, and their regeneration days are actually the most important days in their development as Olympic level athletes, then I think you as a real estate investor or an entrepreneur really needs to take time to also Take a step back and, and take time to work on yourself, to regenerate your energy and take care of yourself because it's very hard to take care of an organization, to take care of employees, to take care of tenants if you're not actually taking care of yourself. And ultimately, with these habits and with this new mindset that you have in, instilled in your life, 
you will find out that stress is no longer an enemy and stress can truly be a friend and help you perform even more and achieve the levels of success that you have only dreamed of. So I hope that my insight has really helped you today and I hope that you apply it as fast as possible and I invite you to join me next week as we continue to talk about more things that will help you become a better real estate investor and entrepreneur and we'll dive deeper into how to hire slow, fire fast with regards to employees, tenants and various business partners.